Russia's invasion of Ukraine has resulted in the loss of many tanks, with man-portable anti-tank weapons being credited for the destruction. The Swedish at 4 has gained attention for its success in targeting and taking out Russian tanks. It is now one of the most commonly used light anti-tank weapons globally, and in the United States military it is designated the M136 at 4. The AT-4 was developed by a nation that has not fought in a foreign conflict since the Napoleonic Wars, apart from sending peacekeeping forces during the Cold War, including to the Congo in the 1960s, and more recently as part of the coalition to Afghanistan. Despite being neutral, Sweden developed the Miniman 74mm Pensarskip M-68, a disposable single-shot unguided anti-tank smoothbore recoilless weapon, which had a few shortcomings. The Miniman was upgraded to the F-4, which took design elements from the Carl Gustav 8.4cm recoilless rifle, and has become one of the most common light anti-tank weapons used by militaries around the world. The F-4 can be easily operated by a single soldier, and depending on the particular rocket model, it has a range of 200 to 600 meters and can penetrate 420 mm of roll homogeneous armor. The AT-4 is now produced with different projectiles including HEAT, AST, ER, HE, HP, and RS, making it a versatile weapon. The projectiles are preloaded into the launcher, so operators can't change out the round if the situation changes and still produce a large backblast. To address this, a special variant, the AT-4, CS, confined space, version has been introduced, which uses a saltwater countermass to absorb the backblast. The AT-4 was chosen for use with the United States Army in 1982, before it was adopted by the Swedish military. Throughout 1983, the United States Army tested six different anti-tank platforms and found that the FFV AT-4 met all the requirements to replace the aging M-72 law. The U.S. Army's M-136 variant featured altered launch tube bumpers, sights and slings, which were found to improve the weapon. These modifications were incorporated in the version adopted by the Swedish Army. The Swedish version also employs a folding hand grip to help steady the AT-4 when it is being aimed and fired. The AT-4 has remained in the American military arsenal since the end of the Cold War. During the Iraq War, the AT-4 was found to be ill-suited to urban combat conditions, and orders for the weapon were suspended. Currently, U.S. military forces are adopting the AT-4CS variant. The AT-4 may not have the same level of recognition as the RPG-7, but it has made its mark in popular culture. It has appeared in numerous movies such as Robocop 2, Escape from L.A., Jarhead, Terminator Salvation, Mission, Impossible, Fallout, and The Outpost, as well as TV shows like Stargate, SG-1, Revolution, and Falling Skies. In video games, it has been a consistent presence for the past two decades, with some games depicting it as reloadable, while others accurately portray it as a single-shot weapon, such as in the Battlefield series and Insurgency, Sandstorm. The Los Angeles Times and other media outlets wrongly reported that two anti-tank for rocket launchers were turned in as part of a gun buyback program. The reports failed to mention that these are single-shot weapons and essentially just fiberglass-slash-plastic tubes. Despite this, fear-mongering reports continued, including one about anti-tank for being found near a California school. National Public Radio NPR, also falsely reported that the launcher tubes are illegal to possess in California, which is not true. This irresponsible reporting is simply amazing. <laughs>